All right, everybody, so the plan here is to remove the stock foot pegs on my Harley and replace it with some new ones. Um, I ran into a little bit of trouble using needle nose pliers getting rid of this lock right here. So I'm going to attempt to use these tweezers and see if that'll work for me. Alright, so I got it loose. There we go. Alright, easy as cake. I'm going to pop this pin out here. Remove this. Alright, so this is what we look like. This thing is pretty heavy. Heavy duty guy. It's been rusted out a little bit. Let me get in there and wipe some of the rust. Alright, so now we're going to replace it with this guy right here. It's going to fit in nice and easy. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Okay, so that's on there. I feel like I could trust this enough to put my feet on there. The only problem I'm going to deal with is if I have to lane split. These are going to be a little bit longer than my stock ones. By a decent amount. So the only way to figure out how this is going to feel is just to ride with them. Let's do the other side. Okay, so now we're going to do the second side and replace this other foot peg. This one's going to be a little bit more challenging just because of the lean. But let's see how we do. That was way easier. Okay. All right, so I removed that little C-clamp. Push out the bolt. I'm gonna remove this guy. There we go. Okay, now we're going to put a new one on. Got a little bit of rust there, but that's alright. It shows the bike's been used a little bit. Again, this makes it super easy to push in and pull out. It's not as tight as it could. I mean, could be. Some savage could come along and just pull it out, but let's hope that doesn't happen. Slid that guy in there. I'm gonna tuck this other washer in. Hmm.
Okay. There we go. Boom. It's on, and now you got your new foot pegs. Next step is going to be to remove the shifter right here. My part's in the mail. That way it'll match up nicely with the foot pegs. So that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody.